uh, what I did here, you, you saw me uh, first quickly add a code on this character to, uh, to, have, the, to have an idea of the, of the shape I, I wanted to, the graphical shape I wanted to have. I, I wanted to have this triangle here. Um, I, I reworked the, uh, the shape of the, of the fish to have something that was closer to what I had in mind. Uh, yeah, a bit more cartoony and aggressive, uh, aggressive look. Some, something like a bit more primitive. Um, I quickly work on the on, on the uh, toad. I would say it might be more of a toad than a, than a frog now. To uh, yeah, try to shape it and make it uh, work for me. And. Um, I added this boat, just quickly set um, a material and a, and a rough uh, an ocean texture that, that I generated like years ago in Maya. Uh, just to have like an idea of the boon, of the boon slides and it's, it's just something I do for myself. I, I might not use it at the end, I don't know, but it's really to, to get an idea of where I want to go. <laughs> so. I, I really try to uh, to move from one spot to another, and um, to only concentrate on uh, what I'm seeing in my uh, in my in my Canva, which is already my painting. So I try to think about this as my painting right right uh, since the beginning. So I've been I've been messing around with different cameras and really try to to find uh, uh, the proper balance of elements. And I think now I'm I'm. I think I'm close enough. Uh, it it might not change too much from now on. Maybe I'm going to move a few elements around, but I, but I think I'm I'm happy overall with the uh, with the uh, overall depth, the uh, the focal length of the camera that that help really that really helped me to to get project inside the image. So this is why I really love also this uh, mix, uh, mixed uh, 3D 2D process because it it really helped me to experiment with different uh, camera angles and and feel uh, how I am um, absorbed by the scene because it really depends on some image for me works better with a long lens and some others works better with a short lens and it it mainly relates to where uh, I am as a viewer inside the image. So if I want to, to get some distance and have a feeling of security, I, I would probably le use a longer lens. But if I want to feel like I am totally near the characters and, and more involved in the action, I, I prefer to use a shorter lens. So yeah, now I'm, I will continue to add a, a few elements. I think I'm going to, to add the, the word uh, just to get a real sense about how the weight will feel about the character. So yeah, I, I really wanted see this character to to almost um, uh, float in air in the air uh, on the bark. Like he, everything is is super lightweight for for him. So he he doesn't have to make any effort to. Uh, to keep his balance on this moving uh, waters, and uh, yeah, I, I will add all the other elements later into the the, uh, the the water effect that goes out of the fish, and uh, uh, and pro I will probably replace this uh, this uh, sea here or repaint it to to really have shapes that works for me in the composition. So I will probably try to emphasize that curve here to really help the, uh, the, uh, the dynamic of the image to, to flow towards the, that, that fish here. Um, I will definitely need, because of that, that strong main shape that split the image in half, I will definitely need something in the background to help the viewer to naturally get back to the toad. So, Maybe I'll do it with uh, some background characters. Maybe I'll do it with the uh, with the background itself. It might be like the giant grass. Uh, yeah, 
I, I really want everything apart from this part of the scene here and the water itself to feel uh, overdimensioned. I don't want them to feel small. I want them to feel like they have a normal size, but everything else is is uh, is, blow, is blown up with uh, with indication that that this is it, ha it has a huge scale. So it means working with with proper texture size and uh, have a lot of um, of surface accidents. On the on the toad and the grass in, in the background to to really suggest the uh, the huge size of the elements. Um, I think I also, I also want this toad to look uh, monstrous. I I really don't want it to look friend friendly. So I want it to be just in between. So this is why I I wanted to have like this this kind of a uh, dog like uh, lips where I mean. It doesn't make sense for a toad, but I, I thought it was it was cool to have it like he looked almost like a bulldog from uh, from his from his mouth here. But in the meantime, I, I want I really want it to be monstrous. So I think I'm going to really work uh, on the uh, texture level and the, the detail level to really bring this this idea of, of a monstrosity and giant scale. But in the meantime, I really want to emphasize the. Uh, the beauty of the of the color patterns. This is something I really like in my images: is to find this balance between insecurity and uh, and just childish look of of the danger. I hope it makes sense. Um, what else? Yeah, I think right now this is what I wanted to explain and. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to move back into uh, into silent mode, do a couple changes, sculpt a, a bit of things, and, I, and I'll be back in real time.